And so for today, a following on from the previous upgrade video, um, we're going to be upgrading from 9.1.9, .9, which I believe is where we left off, um, up to, let me just check that whilst I'm, whilst I'm here, um, up to 10 and then beyond. Okay, so currently, yeah, 9.19. So I need to go to 10, and then I'll just check the upgrade path to 10.05. And we will, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get on to, we'll get up to date with uh, with all the cool kids on version 10. Uh, it is a PA220, so it's going to take a while, apparently. Um, but fortunately for me, my internet is about to be cut off for an hour or so whilst workmen crack on and do whatever workmen do with um, with with roads and so on. So the first thing always when you, you're upgrading is we go to dynamic updates. We need to make sure that we've got uh, the threats, applications and threats downloaded to the latest version. So we're going to check now. There is one there, but we'll just see whether uh, whether there's any others. Yeah, that's not exactly ideal, is it? And so yeah, so we can see that literally the only one that's there now um, that needs updating. Oh, we've got a wildfire update. That's a later one, isn't it? 4794.80. So we'll download that. Do it now. It's always very quick to download the, the wildfire stuff. You see, I've got it set for every 15 minutes anyway. Um, but obviously, if it's going to just crack on, you need to make sure that these are uh, updated before you before you do it. So the file has been successfully downloaded. That is all good. Install it. So the PA the PA two twenty. It is a very, very good firewall. Um, I think arguably is one of the, it is the best, to be fair, um, home and small business, small enterprise firewall that you can get. The functionality of it is amazing. Um, one of the things that people do tend to say about it is that it, it can take a little while to push policy and stuff like that. But frankly, it's like this. What do you want? Do you want security or do you want like a 5220 sat in the hallway with your, your, your electric meter spinning off its axis um, and drowning out all the noise that everybody makes in the house. So it's a trade-off. The management, it does take a while to push policy and things like this, but as far as the throughput is concerned and the protection that you get from it, it's um, it's well worth the, the money. And it's not even as if it costs that much more over um, like an ASA 5506 or anything like that. So then we're just going to download the apps and threat. Uh, and then I think, yep, the antivirus is, is all good. Never know whether to pause these videos in between or not. Um, I would say if you if you do like the videos and you do like the sort of things I do, then have a look at the others and, and subscribe. Um, the plan is, as I say, to, to create courses based on Palo Alto Networks um, for all aspects of their ecosystem. But, I mean, additionally, I, I there is the supporting um, vendors, I like to call them, so... You have stuff with Splunk and, and so on and so forth. 
um, you know, and, and showing how to monitor it and everything. So we will be doing other stuff as well. This could really do with just going beyond 99% now, couldn't it? Because now it's just getting awkward. Now I'm just like filling in. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause it because I'm not the most charismatic person in the world. So I'm just going to pause it now. And so there we go. It's now uh, successfully downloaded. So now I see I. So there you'd have the opportunity there, as we said before, to look at the release notes for it review the policies and review the app so that you could review the policies where the new applications or altered applications are and uh, review the apps that are going to be changed. Now, I'm not going to get involved in that because I don't really need to. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but that's something that in an enterprise environment you would do. And I'll just do a mini video at some point going through that and showing how you can alter um, what's installed, you can uh, put off having the applications changed and um, and so on. But for now, we're just going to install it. Uh, it does give the opportunity to disable new apps in content update. That means you can install what you've got, but anything new that could change your categories or your, um, your evaluation or anything like that, um, obviously you, you wouldn't want to break stuff so you can just disable them for now and then review them later. I think as a general rule, the best practice would be to update the applications anyway, and then uh, review for later on, because really what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the, the best security you can. Um, and I think that gives the best balance between best security and uptime, because at, at that point there, yes, you are securing everything with the latest updates but you're also of course not um, you're not going to stop anything from working so i'll pause that again because it will take a minute to do it it's just coming up now okay so now that's committed successfully so that's done it's now running that so now we need to crack on with the um with the upgrade um it should also be noted at this point that if you are going from 9 to 10 on a 220, apparently it does take some time. As I say, I've got a bit of time anyway because of the, the, the work on the street. But um, it is it is a, a, a drawn-out process, apparently. So, software. And because we are going direct from 9 -1 nine and we're upgrading so i'm going from the last version and i'm so i'm quite happy that that's going to be a supported uh path so i'm going to go to 10. i've already downloaded it um this is essential to develop here this because this is a feature release portions of the configuration may be migrated to new formats um please consider backing the configuration before upgrading as a migrated configuration may not be compatible okay so before we do that then let's go and actually do that let's um, let's go and back up our export device state now is that going to be the best thing to do i think it might be export device state device state uh, so we've got the device state and now we're going to save a names configuration snapshot so that we're going to save a name that we can add uh, a configuration of it so 919 um, that just saves all the configurations on on the on the box that's done and then we're going to export it 919 and so now we've got an exported configuration that we can roll back to uh, due to it saying that as we migrate potentially some of the configuration settings won't be the same or won't be compatible so in that go back to software 
And now that we have our uh, our backup, we are happy that we have accepted all the risks involved against Pan OS 10, and we know that we can roll back to it if need be. And so I've kicked off the uh, upgrade software install, and it will take as long as it takes now to do that. So I'll pause the video based on the fact that you don't want to sit here with me for an hour and a half or whatever it takes. And um, I'll see you once it's, once it's done. And we're back, and we're on version 10. All is well. There's lots of comments on the internet about putting version 10 on PA220. Some saying that it can't be done, some saying that it can be done, some saying it takes two and a half hours for it to upgrade and migrate. The actual start to stop time for this was around about one hour, 10 minutes. Um, there's no, there was no real gotchas. It went very smoothly. And as far as I'm concerned, I think the GUI is as responsive as it ever was. It is obviously, as you can see, it's, uh, as you could see, rather, before I clicked off of it, it is on version 10.0. So the next one is going to be 10.05 because we're gonna jump up to that to that version straight away as I believe it's actually quite stable. Um, there aren't any bugs, everything's come back up as it was. The only bizarre thing that I'd like to share is the fact that once it had migrated and came back up, I suddenly had SSL connect errors with updates.paloaltonetworks.com and threat and wildfire and everything like this and the way that was resolved oddly because it had all gone through on a rule previously to that anyway because the actual routing the service routing hadn't been changed or anything was to put a rule at the top of the rule base essentially just allowing the management interface to come through the inside and go out sort of un unmolested so to speak if I'm honest, I'm still not entirely sure why that was necessary, but it was. And then suddenly everything sprang into life. The main symptom of this that I noticed from when I did it was the URL database uh, filtering version stays at zero. So when you upgrade, it goes to zero and then it connects to the server and pulls down the latest, latest version so that it's in sync with the server. And it just wouldn't connect. And then when you go to check now uh, for checking for update software and, and stuff like that, um, either here or within the dynamic updates, it doesn't. It, it complains it's got an SSL connect error. And that can also be seen in the system logs as well. So if you go to, I'll just let it get that out of its system. If you go to monitor, system logs. It's, it can also be seen in there, so you can see that it's um, it's, it's upgrading now. It upgrading, it's connecting absolutely fine now, but you'll see there's a connection error. Um, I can't actually find how far back is. Yeah, your old cloud connection failure. This is a this is a, a normal um, issue that you see apparently. So there's no update from the cloud in the last 105 minutes. So cloud connection failure. I think it's more cosmetic than anything else, um, but it could be due to the fact that it hasn't updated. There's a there's a, an issue based on the size of disconnect between your your version that you've got locally and the version on the on the server. So that just resolved itself, um, and then everything was everything was was all good. So those are the things to watch out for, I think. Personally, I think that you should always be at the highest level of, of software code you possibly can be. 9.1 is still very much supported, though, um, and it's you know they're still they still actively work on it and so on. But of course, 10 is 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 the way forward. So I'm quite happy that I'm here now, and I'll just go on now and update to 10.05. And then that's uh, that's done for this video.